Hey princesses, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back to the kingdom. Speaking of kingdom, um, as you'll see in my backdrop, I have um, a backdrop <laughs> of a kingdom. I picked this up from Dollar Tree and I thought it was so cool. And I thought it would fit really well with my aesthetic um, for my video. So, um, this is how it looks. Um, it will be like in the party section and um, give you a closer look. It is a kingdom. It's pink. It has beautiful green um, greenery um, in front of the uh, castle. And then, um, of course, it has clouds in the back. But um, this is something I just wanted to show you guys. Again, you can pick it up from any, um, I guess it would be any Dollar Tree. It's really cool. And it was only a dollar. <laughs> so um, today, is gonna, we're going to be doing a couple things. Um, I have another um, video concept to, um, to do today. And it's a little bit different than what I normally do. But it'll give you some insight uh, about who I am and what I do and what I stand for and all that. Um, and also at the very end, if you stay, um, you know, stay listening at the very end, you'll um, see who won the book giveaway that we, um, that we kind of like promoted for last week. So we do have a winner today and I will announce who that winner is at the end of the video. So, um, this video, and I've, you know, been looking all over, um, YouTube just to see, um, what kinds of, um, videos are out, what kind of videos I can do. Um, of course, I will stay with the princess theme, but I did want to add some other things, um, to my video. So this might be a little long, but the title of this video will be 25, um, things about me. Things that you may want to know about me or that you didn't know about me, um, but it's 25 of them. So um, without further ado, because again, it's going to be long, I'm going to get started. And I did write notes, so I'll be looking down and I wrote it kind of fast. So um, reading my own handwriting is going to be um, something else. But um, the first thing to know about me is that I'm an author. And not just a children's author either. I've written articles. Um, I've had certain articles um, published. Um, I used to write for this um, platform called ehow.com where you would write, um, basically it was how-to videos of how to do something, how to cook something, how to make something, how you know to make a drink, how to make a dress, you know, whatever it is. It was called ehow.com. Um, and I think it's still up, but I think they do mostly videos now. Um, when I was doing it, it was writing articles. Also, I've written for um, national publications as well. And so more than just a children's author and a parenting author, I'm an author of literary work. <laughs> so that's something um, that most people didn't know about me. Secondly, um, I have, uh, I'm, again, I'm looking down, I'm looking down in my hair right now. It's like, oh God, what is that? Um, I've been married for 15 years. And um, I guess you can say I married the boy next door, but he actually didn't live next door. He lived like around the block. But um, it was so funny. We had the same number um, address, but different names of streets. But it was 2451. And um, we went to school together. We went to high school together, um, we used to walk to the bus stop together, um, and who knew, you know, years later that we would end up, you know, a couple and being married and having babies. So, <laughs> um, and I'll probably do a story time about that um, at another day. As a lot, as a matter of fact, a lot of these things probably could turn into story times. But yes, I have, we celebrated our 15 year wedding anniversary um, last October, so it's coming up. We'll be 16 um, in October, October 1st. And this is something that you guys may not um, know um, based on just me and by what I do, but I used to rap. 
<laughs> I used to rap when I was in high school. And, um, you know, I used to do competition raps too. The guys on the block used to want to challenge me. So uh, that's something um, that I used to do. And I know you guys want a snippet of what I used to rap about. And it was so many years ago, I really don't remember a lot of it, but I do remember my very first intro to my rap. And here it goes. Well, I'm rapping C and my bod is booming. So get with me and stop assuming. All my raps you say are dead. They're not dead. They're from my head. What about you who bite from run? You should get fresh and get you some. <laughs> so, you know, after that intro, then I went into the rap. But I don't even remember all the words to that. But, um... Yeah, so the guys, like I said, they used to challenge me, and I was spitting. They'd be like, oh, she did, oh, she said that, man. So, yeah, I was like a little, I guess, MC Light back in the day. Um, another thing, um, number four, I have two children. Um, my kids are 11 years apart. I have a 30-year-old son who um, I had when I was 22, so you do the math. And then um, my daughter just turned 19, um, when is she? June. In June. At the end of June. So, that is it. Again, my kids are 11 years apart. And, um, funny story is I told my son, you know, when I was pregnant, that he, that he was going to have this sister. And he had always been asking me for, like, years since he was, like, seven, I guess, six or seven, up to the age of 11, maybe 10, that, you know, can he have a brother or sister? Can I go to the store and buy him a brother or sister? You know, when we were younger, didn't know. And um, so finally I told him, and at that time he had forgot about it. He didn't want a brother or sister anymore. But anyway, it, it was happening. And so I told him, and he got so upset. He was, he, you know, was hyperventilating. He was crying. He didn't, he didn't want it. And he said he wasn't changing any diapers. It was a mess. But when she was born, he just fell in love with her. And they've been like this ever since. Um, they're like best friends. And so, you know, that's, you know, that's something. Um, again, I didn't think they would have anything in common being 11 years apart. But, I mean, they argue just like, you know, if they were two years apart. Um, when, when my son lived with us, he was like, get out of my room, you know, leave my stuff alone. So they had that sibling rivalry, but you know, it was funny that, um, they would being 11 years apart. <laughs> so, um, number five, my three favorite movies. A lot of times, you know, people, you know, when you're on Facebook, they put these posts and people really don't, you know, can't understand why these are my favorite movies, but I just like them. So my very first one is My Best Friend's Wedding. Um, I also like, well, I love, Love Jones. And then the third one is The Mirror Has Three Faces or Two Faces. I can't remember if it's two or three, but it was a very good movie with Barbara, Barbara Streisand. So look it up. Um, I really just love that movie. I laughed. I cried. It was a very, very good movie. Okay. So, number six is my favorite dessert. My favorite dessert is ice cream. Um, anything with caramels or nuts, I do like butter pecan. I think that is my very favorite. But, fun fact, I love ice cream, but I hate milk. So, that might seem weird, but um, every time I eat ice cream, it's so good. But after I eat it, I have to drink some juice or pop or something behind it to take that you know, milk taste away. So that's a fun fact. Um, so number seven, um, I wrote my first book in 2006 and it was a parenting book called 25 ways to make your child feel special. And again, it was over two dozen things that you can do with and for your child to make them feel special. And I'll give you two examples. One was, um, you could name a star after your child. So you can, I think you can still do it. You can go to the star registry and um, name a star. It'll give you their um, points where the star will be. And you can, you know, show it to your child and say, hey, there's your star. That's, that's um, Kimberly star or David star or Timothy star. So I thought that was really cool. And also, this, one of the second things um, in the 25 ways is that you can name a perfume after your child. 
So um, if you want to hear more information about naming the perfume, um, leave that in the comments and I can um, pull that up for you. All right. So again, notes. So I'm going to the next page. Number, was that seven? Number eight. I have 10 ear piercings. Yes. In my left ear, I don't know if you can tell, but I have 10 earrings. And um, I initially got my ears pierced when I was nine years old. My dad took me to Hudson's when, when they were here in Detroit. And, um, you know, my best friend at that time had um, earrings. And she had got her ears pierced. And I was told my dad that I wanted my ears pierced too. And um, he did. But then years later when I was in my teens, I went behind my mom's back and got nine more holes in my ear. So I had 10 in one ear. And you guys should just been a fly on the wall uh, when my mom seen those piercings. Oh, it was nothing nice. <laughs> nothing nice. Um, so I was in my 30s when I got on the airplane for the first time. Um, my daughter was in Head Start and she was about three years old. And um, when you volunteer at the Head Start, you're able to go like get perks basically and one of the perks is to travel and go to different conferences so the conference was in salt lake city utah and they picked me and i'm like how am i going to get there and they said like, i said are we going to take the bus the you know train or something and it was like no we're going to fly and i was like oh my god i can't fly i'm nervous they said well figure it out let us know but we're flying so i bit the bullet and um, got on the plane and had the best time of my life and now that's all I do is fly. Okay, so number 10. I don't eat red meat. I gave up red meat when my daughter was, again, three years old and had start. We had a nutritionist come out and give us the um, nutrition facts about red meat, how it stays in your system, how it's not good for you. And I went cold turkey and gave up red meat. So I don't eat red meat. Um, here's another fact. This is number 11. I use a fan all year long, not just in the summer. I, and it's not because of hot flashes or anything like that. I've been doing that since I was 17 years old. I, it just, I don't know, it just feels more comfortable to have the air on me than just not. So I use a fan. Um, I sleep with the radio and TV on. I cannot sleep in dead silence. It just freaks me out. And I can't go, if it's a dead silence, I can't go to sleep. You know, I'll just be sitting there daydreaming and thinking about things and hoping I fall asleep. So I leave the TV and um, radio on. Um, I love notebooks. I have about 30 notebooks. I mean, I have notebooks, goal setting notebooks, um, uh, food journal notebooks, uh, business notebook. I just love notebooks and I, I just go and even when I'm not even thinking about it I might go to the dollar store. I might go to Meyer or, or Five Below and just see a cute um, A cute notebook and I just buy it. <laughs> I love notebooks um, And number 14 I launched my apparel um, brand um, Almost a year ago. It'll be a year in September um, and if you guys have seen other videos, it's called Motor City Princess. It's a regional um, apparel line. And um, Motor City is the nickname, I guess. Or that's what Detroit is known for, the cars. So it's called Motor City. And so the brand is Motor City Princess. So I'm loving it. I'm probably do something for the year's anniversary. I don't know. All right. Um, I'm a middle child. I have two um, brothers. I have a younger brother who's four years my junior, and then I have an older brother who's two years older than I am. Um, here's one, a fun fact. I can't type a lick. You know, um, I'm a peck. I'm I'm the worst typer, but I'm a good pecker. I can peck. I can peck so fast. So um, this is a funny story. When I was in middle school, our typing teacher used to cut out the lights and he would give the test in the dark. And when he would turn that light on, girl, I failed. I failed every single test in the dark. Now I would 
I would pass like the written test, but when we would have to do an actual typing test in the dark, cause I didn't know the keyboard and I still don't. <laughs> so um, that's, that's what I did. Um, another fun fact is I was baptized at 14. Um, a lot of kids get baptized younger or get dedicated or things like their parents do for them. But my mom wanted me to wait until I was old enough to really believe in God for myself and make that, um, and make that decision on my own based on my beliefs and my love of God and Christ. Um, and, and I did, I was 14. I was in the choir. Um, I went to Sunday school. I mean, we were raised in the church anyway. You know, we were just never baptized. My mom took us to church every Sunday. Again, we went to Sunday school, we, vacation Bible school, all of that. But I wasn't baptized until I was 14. Okay, and so my, okay, I'm trying to read my, oh, my, fa I was trying to read my handwriting. Oh my God. My favorite shows to watch on TV are, um, like shows, uh, like mystery shows or crime shows like Law and Order. Uh, actually, Law and Order is my favorite show. Although I will watch, if they have it, um, Matlock from back in the day um, or, you know, Columbo. You know, all those shows back in the day that we used to watch or our parents used to watch. Um, I love those shows. So that's my, um, my fun fact. Um... My oldest brother bought me a car when I was in my early 20s, and he bought the car for like $100, but it was a stick shift, and I couldn't drive a stick shift, so I would have my younger brother chauffeur me around and, um, you know, take me where I needed to go, drop me off, and then come pick me up because I couldn't drive the stick. It was my car in my name, but I couldn't drive it. And so he tried to teach me, but he's an awful teacher, and so he was hollering and just, you know just not really being a good teacher so um i tried to learn and um i i blew out the uh the stick shift i blew blew it out and so i've never bought um manual cars since then i only only buy automatic cars but my first car was a stick okay all right and i'm supposed to wear glasses and I don't. Um, I think I was scarred when I was younger. I used to wear glasses, um, but back in the day, they were like they were framed like cat cat glasses, and I hated them. So I would, you know, purposely lose them all the time. And so one day, my dad bought me a chain to be on the glass. So he was saying if if um, I lost my glasses or my glasses fell, they would fall on my chest, and I wouldn't lose them because. You know they would fall. I was they would still be on my person, and um, I lost those glasses. And so, you know, purposely lost those glasses. And he never bought me any more glasses after that. He was like, when you get older, when you become an adult, you buy your own glasses. He said, I can't afford to buy. He he bought me like five or six pairs, but he, you know, said no, I'm not doing it anymore. So I should be wearing glasses, but I don't. And I can see, I just can't like see at night. And um, sometimes I can't see things that are really close because I'm nearsighted. But that's a, that's a fun fact, I guess. Um, I never went to my high school prom. And that should be a story time too. Um, not because I wasn't asked, but there was something mitigating circumstances that I felt that I didn't want to go to my prom. So, um, Again, I'll probably do a, a story time about that. But I do the Princess Ball every year, and for me, it's like having a prom every year. I, you know, it's, it'll be 10 years next year, and um, for almost 10 years, I've been having this formal event for young girls, but also, you know, it's for me too, because like I never went to my prom, so I get to dress up um, in formal attire, I get to dial up, get makeup, get my hair, you know, fixed really cool, and go to my prom or the princess ball every year. So that that's something that I love to do. All right. And although I'm a business owner, my day job is in the industry of nonprofit. 
So I've worked in nonprofit for about 15 years now. I started at a parenting organization in Detroit, um, and now I'm at a community action agency. Um, so I love my day job. Um, I, I love it. I love my business, of course, but working in nonprofit, helping people is something that I really like to do. So that was 22. 23 is I saved my, my, um, my little brother's life. True story. We, my dad took us to a swimming pool and um, he wasn't paying attention to my little brother and my brother was going under the water and I noticed it even being far from him. I noticed him going up and down, up and down and I um, jumped in and um, saved him. And he'll never let me forget. He always tells me, you saved my life, sis. I love you, I love you. But yeah, I saved him. All right, so 24 is I've worked in about every industry there is to work in. I mean, literally worked in about every industry. You know, a lot of teenagers, when they get a job, they first, they work in fast food or restaurant, and I've done that, and then they get their real, their real you know, job, or maybe two jobs online. But I've worked, I've worked as, um, I worked in fast food, I've worked in retail at a toy store, I've worked in a daycare center, I've worked in advertising, I've worked as a custodian, I've worked as a news reporter at an AM radio station. Um, I've worked in the deli and, and in food production. I've done just about everything. <laughs> but I think, you know, my job that I'm working at now in nonprofit is something that, I, of course, I'm going to stick with until I retire. And, of course, um, scaling my brand and my business um, is something that I'll never let go of. <laughs> so that's that. And if you stay with me for this whole video, you've made it to number 25. Drum roll. That didn't sound like a drum roll, but drum roll is I am actually in somebody's medical journal. <laughs> so um, a few years ago, I had this medical, I don't want to say it was a condition, but it, well, it was a growth. It was a growth. And um, so when I went to emergency to figure out what to do about it, they, um, they removed it, but then later on they asked me would I give them permission to use it um, in, in the journal, in the medical journal. So I don't know what journal it was in. I don't know how they formatted it to, to say it was in the journal um, or what it was, but I am in a medical journal. <laughs> So that is crazy, 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 crazy. But if you made it to the end, you know some things about me. If you have any questions about any of the um, things that I've mentioned, if you want me to go more in depth, then just let me know. I think this is the longest video I've ever made, but I hope you guys stay with it because now I am going to announce the winner of the book giveaway. So the winner of the book giveaway, the Adventures of 20, the, there's just 25. I'm putting both my books together. The Adventures of Princess Zaria, The Quest for the Three Precious Gems. The winner of the book giveaway is Mama Ray Ray's Kitchen. Yes! She has a food channel on YouTube, so check her out. Again, her name is Mama Ray Ray's Kitchen. So if you're Mama Ray Ray, please reach out to me with your mailing address so I can send you an autographed copy of the book. Um, I don't know if you're going to gift it to um, someone in your family or you're just going to keep it for yourself. But either way, thanks for um, joining um, in or registering in the giveaway. And I am so, so happy to be able to send this to you. So like, comment, share, subscribe this video, even though it is super long. <laughs> but comment um, what things you liked. Maybe there's some things that... There's some facts about me that you also have about you. So leave that in the comment as well. And I will look forward to talking with you guys next week. Again, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And welcome to my kingdom. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.